With me now is natural movement coach and personal trainer Ben Meta. Ben, thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Um, you don't really think about it, but there is an art to tree climbing. There is indeed. Um, it's something that's quite innate in uh, most of us. We all can remember climbing as a child and somewhere along the way that play drive to go and climb something and becomes atrophied. And I guess we kind of have to relearn again and that's where we start appreciating as an adult and um, becoming present, the engagement um, involved in tree climbing, that it is actually an art. Oh, I mean, what happens um, you know, between being a child and just climbing a tree and then suddenly you're fearful as an adult? Yeah, I, I sort of um, can summarize it down to two things. Um, Fear comes into play. At some point, somebody says to you, don't climb that, you might hurt yourself. Um, you start building up a database, as it were, of consequences, that loss of innocence. And probably more powerful, because fear can be combated you know, over time, is probably this, the shame, I guess. You know, if you're seen climbing a tree as an adult, one assumes that maybe you're drunk, or somebody says don't jump. You don't, so have, that, you don't have that shame, that you've I, climbed your fair share of trees. skin now, yes, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm used to it. So people generally are worried about, about what other people might think. Tell us about the kind of uh, training that you, that you provide. So um, in general, I guess you could summarize it as natural movement training. So from an evolutionary perspective, I believe that uh, we all have these innate human abilities that we once needed to uh, eat or not be eaten. And we uh, I now teach adults to basically reclaim those. And at the heart of it all is the play, uh, making sure that people are engaged and it doesn't feel like a workout because we're doing things that we did as children, running, jumping, climbing, balancing, wrestling, etc. And is it becoming popular? I like to think so. I live in the bubble, of, uh, <laughs> so to me it's very popular. But I'm finding that people are generally getting tired of the monotony of the gym, being inside all the time, the loss of connection with nature. All my classes are pretty much outside. And the lack of social interaction, um, touch, connection with the other humans, rather than just isolation on an exercise machine inside. Uh, uh, but it would, uh, I don't know, look a bit odd uh, to see a bunch of adults climbing trees in a park, I imagine. Definitely. We definitely get some looks. And um, that's why I believe it's, uh, I'm not teaching people how to climb a tree. It is something that's quite natural. It's more about the permission, the safety, the, the safe space uh, that other people are doing as well. So you don't feel ridiculed. A lot. We can see some of the games um, that, you, that you teach people there on, on, the, on our screens. What's happening there with the tennis ball? almost like a cat and mouse game. <laughs> so rather than just climbing, basically my, uh, one of your partners is trying to get you with the tennis ball. It's a cool game I picked up from a workshop uh, called Fighting Monkey. And uh, it's meant to um, get you to improvise and provide creativity from another stimulus. Someone trying to hit you in the face with the tennis ball. Well, summer's just arrived here in London, so I wonder if I will see loads of people uh, climbing trees in the parks. Ben, thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Uh, do send me your thoughts on Twitter, whether you like to climb trees. I'm at BBC Yelda Hakim. Do stay with us, though. Next edition coming up.